Learn how to make the authentic Nigerian Zobo drink recipe, a step-by-step -step method of preparation. In this video, I will showcase two styles Hello of friends, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Queen, you're watching Queen Variety's channel. Variety is a spice of life, isn't it? Yes, in today's episode, I will showcase a refreshing, healthy Zobo Sorel hibiscus drink recipe well fortified with a lot of fruit let's get right into it don't forget to subscribe like and share my video with your friends and loved ones thank you these are two sweet pineapples notice two oranges same time i've got them two lemons lemons are totally optional if you don't want to infuse the lemon flavor you can just skip it okay here you will notice the zobo this is the chief ingredient over here right now is to process the ingredients this evening because i'll be cooking this um, zobo recipe tomorrow yes yeah, so like my previous video we are going to marinate the zobo drink so that um, by tomorrow the infused flavors will come out poppy you know super delicious and yummy right. i'll start by peeling the pineapples we are going to make use of the pineapple skin Okay guys, let me remind you that all the ingredients I have here have been cleansed properly So please make sure that you wash your pineapple skin very very neatly Yes, that is because we are going to cook it. quantity of water I'm going to transfer the pineapple peels inside there Okay, so I've gone ahead to remove the pineapple stalk. Set this ones here aside because um, tomorrow we'll be using it, not today. Transfer all the oranges to the pot. The same thing I'll do to the lemons. Alright, for this recipe, I'll be using five cups of hibiscus plants. That is the zobo. What I'll do now is to just um, run some water on top of it from my tap. Yes, just flow some water on the surface. That's it, and that is all. Alright, so here you can notice um, the pot of ingredients we have just um, tossed earlier on. So into it, I'm going to add um, the sorrel plants. By the time we come back tomorrow morning the color will be very very thick yes that way you're going to extract all the juices and everything that has to do with this zobo okay guys i will cover it up so good morning and welcome back to my channel today we are now back to continue our recipes can you see what we are having in the pot here this thing smells so so good the aroma zooming from this pot oh my goodness it smells incredibly awesome this pot has been marinating all through the night you can see how colorful the zobo looks just take a good look at that color so your zobo preparation is not complete until you have added this vital ingredient what i have here is four tablespoons of cloves also have um, four tablespoons of grain of selling grain of selling is the one the Igbos call older Got some ginger i've gone ahead to wash the ginger very well so please make sure you rinse it clean so into the pot i'll pour everything i just mentioned now leave the pot open and then boil it for 30 good minutes because once it starts boiling it can overflow so if you have bigger pots please make use of it after 30 minutes i will extract this liquid add more water and boil for a second time Some fresh apples you can use any apple of your choice today i'll be using the green ones precisely eight species of um, oranges i have here about um, four oranges plus the ones we have used so for this entire recipe you will need six oranges you can even increase the number of fruits just to sweeten it and use lesser intake of sugar in the entire recipe i'm going to infuse this zobo drink with some mint leaves this is totally optional but trust me is going to help with your immunity boost your immunity if you're also trying to lose weight belly fat all those type of things yes so this is very important yes. so what i'll start doing now is to dice the fruits i'll remove uh, the apple stock and transfer to the blender and crush it down i 
water in the blender just to enable the blending process. Okay guys, so the apples are now ready to add the mint leaves inside here. I'll cover it up and then have it blended. I shoot my shot and you deny the other year. Valentine has passed through. Where is your boyfriend? <laughs> okay guys, so you notice that the Zobo pot now is boiling seriously. Yes, you can see it is boiling very very well. So with the help of my spatula, what I'll be doing is to just give it a stir so that everything will, you know, cook evenly. Guys, it smells so good. Great things he has done. Greater things he will do. When you know you're going to drink Kizobu, you sing to the glory of God. Great things he has done. Okay guys, the blending process is now done. This is it. I'm gonna pour it here. To just dice the pineapples up and also do the blending. Alright, I'll have it blended once again and come back. Okay, I'll go forward and pour it also here. Oh my! Mm. Yes, sir. Aroma. Hmm? We came in the kitchen. The aroma just the aroma. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just cut off the oranges and juice it out. I like to throw my orange peels back to the pot. It's optional if you want, you can do that. Okay, so this is the juice derived from the oranges. I will keep it here. Okay guys, so the zoba we have in the pot now is ready. This is just to hold all those particles. Later we are going to see for the second time. All right, you're welcome back. So now you see I've placed a good quantity of water back to the same pot. Here we're going to extract the flowers and the item here for the second time. So I'm going to cook this for like maybe let's say 15 minutes to 20 minutes just so that um, the water color will pop. Once that is ready, I will repeat the same um, sieving process with the big sieve and then I'll come back to you. All right, this is the time we have to just sieve the fruits. I'm going to give this a mix and begin to sieve it. Continue this step until everything is perfectly sieved. I will also cross the orange juice. So this step is completed. I'll just mix it. See how beautiful the color is. I'm gonna set this aside. It is now boiling extremely very well. What is boiling very very good. I'll go ahead now and then sieve everything once again. Come back. This is a few hours later. Make sure we have in the pot now is completely cool down. Room temperature. All right. So for this segment, you will need a cheesecloth because this is what is going to help everything to come out um, super clean after you have okay, seen so at this stage i'm going to pour in the juice inside the pot i'll gently give everything a good mix and then begin to sieve it the quantity of liquid i have here is about um, nine liters to be lighter than this you can just add some water to it but no this is how you want it to be when you serve it with ice you're gonna enjoy it it smells so good guys it smells really good you will love that main kick inside it so 
what we are going to eliminate you can see that the reason why it is very important to use a cheesecloth to sieve it that's where everything comes out transparently clean for people you're welcome back so here finally we have come to the end of today's recipe <laughs> guys it's not been easy you know when you want to do zobo it's good that you do maybe smaller quantity or dig easy right, so this is the entire quantity gotten from this entire recipe for this one here i'm not going to add sugar to it trust me it tastes so so good that's because the quantity of fruits that we use for this recipe is so big like you saw the apples the pineapples the oranges oh my goodness sweetened it so nice you're going to enjoy the mint flavor in this um recipe guys it's so tasty mm. it's so nice really nice guys you don't need to add sugar at all at all my kids okay. they prefer to have sugar so for this i'm going to add just one cup of sugar okay just one cup they love their zobo drink very 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 sweet <laughs> Now, when you add sugar to it, automatically it changes it from being healthy to unhealthy. If you want to solve diabetic problems, cut down your cholesterol intake, high blood pressure issues, you want to cleanse your liver. At the same time, you want to shed that belly fat and also lose weight entirely. Guys, trust me, drink it without sugar. It tastes so, so good. The natural flavor is fantastic. You're going to love it. Yes, you can serve it over ice, you can drink it warm, you can drink it cold, however you want to go for it, your own choice. Choice. Now when you add the sugar, you're going to allow it to sit here for like, you know, two to three minutes before you serve Because you want the sugar to completely melt okay. mm. Here we're going to call it a quit for today's recipe Thank you so much for spending time with me I really hope you have enjoyed it If you have, kindly share my video with your friends and loved ones Until I come your way next time Remember, variety is the spice of life Bye for now